What is up, my butter biscuits? Y'all, I have another My Thoughts and Opinions video. I feel like I've been doing a lot recently, which I actually really like because y'all know I love to talk about makeup. Um, I recently did see that Jeffree Star is going to be coming out with a little bit of a Halloween collection as well as his mystery boxes, so I wanted to talk about that within today's video. If you guys did not see, I actually did a full My Thoughts and Opinions video on the Kylie Jenner um, Times Nightmare on Elm Street collection as well as Jeffree Star's whole Pricked collection, so I do have a lot of like makeup videos. I really feel like the cheese man has really been down these days. Like I really do feel like there's not much to talk about. Um, so I'm just kind of like, you know what, let's talk about makeup here on my channel rather than Chisme. And I know a lot of you guys are like, hey, what's up with the Chisme? But honestly, I feel like it's really been, I don't know, I feel like everybody's been laying low. I feel like everyone's been staying out of it. You know what I'm saying? But if you guys know of anything, feel free to DM me or email me or whatever because I don't really know what to talk about these days. So that's why I'm like, you know what, let's talk about makeup, y'all. And I am also going to be filming my anti-haul after this as well, too. So it's just like makeup videos galore. And on top of that, too, I don't know if you guys saw, but I actually recently just did another video where it was like, what? did I title it like new makeup drops are they bops or flops like honestly y'all I kind of want to do one of those like every two weeks I know I said I would do it every month but then I was like looking through trend mood and looking through Instagram and seeing so many new collections coming out and I'm like, you know what? There's a lot of things that I actually would buy and some things that I wouldn't buy. And then I was like, you know what? It'll be cool to have an anti-haul as well as kind of like a just like makeup talk video about things that I actually am interested in. You know what I'm saying? Um, some things, y'all, let me just keep it real with you guys. I like doing those types of videos because I talk about the collection, but then I may not necessarily always purchase all of them. You know what I'm saying? Because everything get, just gets so expensive and there's just so much makeup out there. But then I feel like when I do anti-hauls, it's specifically of things that I actually do not like and I wouldn't purchase. But anyways, y'all, within today's video, we're going to be talking about Jeffrey star's new weirdo collection which i guess is kind of like a throwback to his like myspace day so we're going to talk about that within this video if you guys are interested in that of course go to keep on watching if y'all are new here make sure you guys hit the subscribe button turn on your post notifications so that way you'll get notified when i upload a new video and make sure i'll give this video a big thumbs up i would really appreciate that don't forget to subscribe to my second channel it's listed down below and let's go ahead and get into it all right y'all before we go into the actual makeup portion of this video i do want to talk about the throwback of jeffree star's like myspace days because i do have to say just in case you guys didn't know and look y'all i I, already, I feel like so many people already gave me crap for this because I had said it before, but Jeffree Star, I literally always say, is one of the reasons that I actually got into makeup. When I had first saw him on MySpace, there was really no other boys in beauty, and I didn't see anybody who looked like him out there, and I was so intrigued by him and really inspired by him. And I know, obviously, everybody now, like, honestly, I feel like things get a little bit rough because everybody always wants to think of, like, all the bad stuff that he's done, but however, during that time, like, I didn't think anything of it, you get me? And I say to everybody during the MySpace days, I feel like everybody did everything for just, like, attention and for clout and for like views you know what i'm saying and i feel like nobody really knew during that time that social media was forever and now we know oh my gosh you need to be careful what you say on social media because it is forever and there will always be clips and you know screenshots and stuff like that out there so i feel like it is kind of a you know a bad situation but i definitely always have to keep it real and say you know what he is really one of the reasons why i got into makeup and this is one of the throwbacks right here where he's wearing this little uh little <laughs> this hello kitty purse and he has his hair like that his makeup like that i literally looked at him and i was like oh my gosh like i had literally never saw anybody like him you know and i was just like hold up like like he's very intriguing so i do want to say i think it is very cool that he did do a little bit of a throwback to his myspace days i really feel like the concept is really cool we're gonna get into the makeup in a second because but anyways let's go ahead and look at some more imagery right here i feel like it's really cool he was going very goth with it very punk rock just very out there and i think that it's really cool i do want to point this out specifically because i do have to say like correct me if i'm wrong y'all but was this not like one of the biggest pictures on social media during the time like him throwing up the cereal and then him recreating this i think it's pretty cool like i really really like it i feel like he definitely threw it back to his makeup like y'all i remember his like really really tiny thin brows and that just like super pink makeup or he would wear like super teal and honestly y'all i feel like during that time back then i want to say what was this like 2007 i want to say it was there was like nobody out there like him and i feel like he was just so intriguing so i catching you know what i'm saying that's why i feel like i had mentioned it before i know this was like last year when i had said it in a q a video somebody had asked like what made you get into makeup and i was like well actually jeffree star and i know obviously everybody like you know has you know some types of feeling towards him these days which i totally understand but i say back in the day like we weren't paying attention to stuff like that like we didn't think about stuff like that it's like you look back on things and you're like oh snap like oh my god i never even thought of it this way or that way you know what i'm saying however i just looked at him and i was like he is so intriguing 
I want to go ahead and move into the makeup now because if you guys did not see my full thoughts and opinions video about the Pricked collection, I actually really liked that collection. I was like, oh my gosh, if I was supporting Jeffree Star Cosmetics right now at the time, I would 100% buy that palette. I know that there was several people online that was like, okay, this is literally like every other warm tone palette out there. However, I do want to say as soon as I saw the swatches, I was like, no, there is some uniqueness to the shades, the warm tone shades that he has inside that palette. And I actually love the component of it. I want to go ahead and talk about this weirdo palette to start off right here. So he is going to be having this in the mystery boxes as well as selling it just by itself. I want to say it retails for $28. I do have the pricing somewhere, but I'll throw it up on the screen. Um, but I want to actually talk about the palette, y'all. So I want to say the outside I feel like looks really cool. I love the black on red, y'all. I absolutely love black on red. I don't know why for some reason. Like ever since I was younger, I really always wanted a pair of like Louboutins, like the men's sneakers, you know, the ones that have like the studs on it or like the little spikes on it. And then the red bottoms are just like, oh, I literally always wanted those, but obviously could never afford them. Y'all, when I was older, uh, when I, I think when I was like 22, I bought some Supras because they had like black ones that had red on the bottom. I literally love the whole aesthetic. I don't know why for some reason. However, as soon as I saw the palette open, I'm so sorry and yes I know that I'm wearing like reds and blacks and silvers right now I literally obviously recently within my thoughts and opinions makeup videos I don't know if you guys have been able to tell but I've been trying to like be inspired by the palette you know what I'm saying so that's where I got these colors from today I'm wearing red black silver and white obviously just like within this palette right here um, and I do have to say 100% this is a palette that I would not buy I do not like it like looking at the swatches just looking at everything about it I'm just like eh, it's just very lackluster to me I do want to say obviously I get the reference I totally understand these are very like punk rock like goth colors I get it I just feel like it's just kind of blah you know what I'm saying and I feel like all the colors just don't even I don't know they just don't look nice together right there I don't know maybe it would have been better if it was like a 18 pan eyeshadow palette but just I don't know looking at those right there I'm like eh it looks kind of it looks kind of blah to me you know what I'm saying um anyways I do it y'all another thing that I literally wanted to talk about and I don't think that I mentioned it within my pricked video like I said it time and time again before in Jeffree Star Cosmetics like like reveal videos I absolutely love them I feel like they're very like entertaining and I wish that other people would do stuff like his as well too like I feel like Jaclyn Hill should do that and you know other people who have their brands I feel like they should take note from him because he makes it kind of interesting you know he goes in theme with it Here's one of the things that literally always bother me, though, are these hand swatches. Like, he has so many assistants on deck. He has security guards on deck. He has friends on deck. Like, I don't understand why somebody can't just put their arm in there and then, like, him, like, swatch them. You know what I'm saying? Rather than swatching them on his hand because, I don't know, it just looks bad. Like, I just, I don't get it. I know, obviously, we've moved past the swatches meaning anything. However, I do feel like when it's a reveal video... And I wanted to touch on this topic specifically because when I saw the pricked palette, I was like, oh yeah, that's a pretty palette. However, I definitely have every single one of those warm tone shades. But as soon as I saw his swatches, then I was like, oh my gosh, no. Like they actually come out a little bit different on swatch than how they look in the pan because the undertone is different. And obviously when you're looking at something in a palette, you're going to look at it a little bit differently based upon the component's color. You get what I'm saying? As to where when you actually see it on a skin tone, you're like, oh my gosh, you can see the undertones of it and things do look different. That's why I look at like swatches and stuff like that and yes i understand quality wise they don't really mean anything but when you're actually looking for tone wise i think that they do matter and i really do wish that he would like get over swatching on his hands because i just felt like it looks so blah but anyways y'all so moving on right here i I just wanted to talk about this because I actually, my best friend, Rosie, y'all, she's she's literally only been on like one of my videos. She's super, super busy. But she actually went to school with Jeffree Star. She went to Pacifica High School. And it's so funny because this picture for the longest time, I always thought like back in the day, they used to like roast Jeffree for this for his best hair picture because obviously it was like, whoa, you know? But I think it's really cool. And I like that he's actually like, you know, throwing it back to those days. It kind of just like reminds everybody where he came from and how he grew up and like where he grew up and how things were back then. You know what I'm saying anyways moving on right here so the next thing that i want to talk about is the uh, velvet trap lipsticks okay so these things right here okay i want to say i personally don't really like any of the shades however i think the packaging is beautiful i once again i love the black on y'all should see my room literally i have one whole red wall i have two black walls and then i have a striped wall I don't know. It's been like that, honestly, since I was like 20. And I just love like red, black, and white. That's why I was really surprised by this palette that I was just kind of like, 
I don't like it. It just looks very blah to me. But this is the component right here for the um, Velvet Trap lipstick. I absolutely love it. And honestly, y'all, okay, I know I probably sound stupid, but like one day I'll own some uh, men's Louboutins, I swear. But this lipstick reminded me of it being that they're black on top, red on the bottom. I thought the whole aesthetic was really, really cool. However, these are the uh, shades right here. And I just feel like they're just very like, eh, you know what I mean? I just feel like this whole collection is very, like, lackluster. And, y'all, I say it time and time again. I feel like every single time with Jeffree Star Cosmetics, it's always, like, a palette and lips and then, you know, accessories. I don't know, y'all. I'm still waiting for that blush palette or those bronzers or, like, something else. You know what I'm saying? To come from his brand. And it's really just... It's kind of repetitive, you know? Um, anyway, so, yeah, those are the Velvet Trap lipsticks right there. He did come out with some pretty cool shades. We have this purple one, this black one. The purple one, I think, actually looks very, very beautiful. It reminds me of, like, Smucker's Grape Jelly for some reason. I did an Uncrustables look, and I, like, did my lip that color. It looks just like that. Um, anyway, so moving on right here. So um, we're going to go into the mystery boxes after. I do want to talk about the Supreme Glosses, y'all. Okay, a lot of people commented on my last video before that they love the formula for that. However, I always say, with me personally, I would not purchase... Anything that's very high pigmented and shiny. My reasoning for that is, is because even when I wear a regular gloss, it makes my liquid lipstick bleed. So if I were to wear something that has an intense amount of pigment and glossiness, it is going to bleed all over my lips. And I tried telling you guys before, the issue with me personally is because I do have obviously hair surrounding my mouth. I have my mustache, I have my beard area. And when things bleed, it's a wrap. Like, I am literally have to wipe off my whole entire makeup, my whole entire mouth, basically, re-put on foundation, and then re-put on my lip, because when it bleeds, I can't just fix it, because it obviously goes all up into my hair. You know what I'm saying? So, these right here, I do want to say that they are cool. I really do love the black one. I love, for some reason, oh my gosh, y'all, when I was working at MAC, we used to have, like, black lip theme days, and I used to love putting Black Track, which is a gel eyeliner, on my lips, and then putting a clear gloss on top of it. Absolutely love the look. I feel like it looks so sexy and so bold. However, it is extremely messy and I feel like these um, supreme glosses right here Will be very very messy, but I do want to say they look beautiful like on the swatches I said this before about the pricked collection. These are something that I just wouldn't purchase I would like to try out the formula if I was supporting Jeffree Star Cosmetics However, I just already know it's not gonna stay put you know what I'm saying like it's obviously so hard for a very Emollient based product to stay put on lips especially because our mouth moves more than anything these shades are really really beautiful but um yeah they are definitely not for me um one thing that i wanted to point out right here is i just didn't understand is these two swatches are, like don't they look the same like the two black ones i don't know if i'm tripping anyways y'all let me know about that maybe he swatched it twice and i just wasn't paying attention to the video now that i'm like thinking about it maybe just watch it twice i don't really know anyways moving on right here because you guys know um i have a few of his mirrors shout out to renell smith she actually sent me three of his mirrors um i love his mirrors every single time he mentions his mirrors y'all I'm just gonna say I like them. I do think $30 for a mirror is very, very expensive. I feel like that's very overpriced. However, there is obviously a lot of quality that goes into these, not only just with the machinery that it takes to create the product, which is super expensive, y'all. Like, I literally looked into creating custom components before and I was like, oh my god like to, to get like one design you have to pay for a machine that costs like almost a hundred thousand dollars like yeah you have that whole machine so you can create like as many as you want but like a hundred thousand dollars just to create that mold for that like mirror or bag or like component you know what i'm saying it's just super super expensive so i understand his pricing of it but i think these mirrors are so cool i love them i feel like the design is super super cool specifically the red one y'all i love the metallic shine of that red one i feel like it is beautiful and i really really like it um so these are all full of the mirrors all full of the mirrors all three of the mirrors y'all i do apologize if you guys hear sawing in the back once again y'all it is 9 p.m and my neighbor is going to town on like sawing and stuff i just don't get it like he literally all day long he doesn't do anything but then at nighttime, which you know what's funny is because i literally work at night too but i'm not you know obviously making loud sounds anyways moving on here so um that's pretty much the full collection it's literally just velvet trap supreme gloss and then he does have some hoodies and stuff like that but y'all know how i feel about like accessories like that like i'm like <sighs> 
Even if I was supporting Jeffree Star Cosmetics, I don't think I would ever buy a Jeffree Star Cosmetics hoodie. It's just, it's not my vibe. So I want to go ahead and talk about the mystery boxes right here. I want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions about these. I have never purchased any one of his mystery boxes, but these are them right here. So he has um, a premium white one, which contains six items. He did say within his video that the weirdo palette is going to be in them all, and then you could purchase it separately on the side if you wanted to, just by itself. So that is um, $65 for six items, or the deluxe, which is the black box which contains um 10 items for 140 dollars and then the supreme which is the red which is 15 items for 200 dollars which is a 412 dollar value i think that's actually pretty good like honestly y'all 15 items for 200 bucks especially coming from his brand i feel like his brand is i wouldn't say like high end pricing but it's very like midline pricing you know what i'm saying it's not low end pricing it's it's in the middle some of the things obviously can be pretty expensive but yeah this pretty much is it those are the um mystery boxes i really am curious to see what comes in them you guys are gonna have to tag me on instagram and let me know what comes in them as soon as you guys order them because i'm sure a bunch of you guys will um because i'm curious because i know a lot of times people get very disappointed with the mystery boxes because they feel like they get a bunch of old product things that are obviously been shitting on this is shitting <laughs> been sitting on the shelf for quite some time so they feel like he's just putting it in there to get rid of it or like i don't know there was like one time where there was like stickers in there and people were so disappointed in that so you guys have to let me know what comes in those boxes because i I am super super um like curious to know about that y'all so anyways y'all that is pretty much it so you guys <laughs> make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace out girl scout